G'day guys, how's it going? With a bit of luck, the clouds uh, passed so we can do some astro imaging tonight and test out my new QHY uh, guide camera. So uh, let's get setting up before the uh, light dims and, uh, and I'm gonna start doing everything in the dark. Well, here we are, we are all set up, ready to capture the running chicken nebula tonight. Now the running chicken nebula is located between the Southern Cross and Itacarina Nebula. Sort of halfway-ish um, between the two the constellation and uh, Itacarina Nebula. It's a bit more of a, it's a dull nebula, not as bright as uh, Itacarina. Still, I think we're gonna be uh, able to get a half decent image here in the backyard with uh, my Bordel 5 to 6 uh, skies, according to my light meter on the uh, Eagle Pro 4. Now, it has been uh, a little while since I've been able to get out, so I feel like I kind of forgot a little bit on how to set up the mount, but uh, we got there in the end and we're all good. Um, and hopefully these uh, clouds sort of uh, disappear a bit later and we can get the guiding up and running. Uh, a bit excited about that too, um, running a dual um, synchronized session between the two RASs, the guide scope with uh, Nina. So uh, a little bit excited about that, but uh, yeah, we just got to wait for it to get a little bit darker and then we can uh, begin the polar alarm process and get imaging. Well guys, it's been an interesting night. Um, started off with a few bugs in the in the system, purely on my behalf, um, not getting some of the settings right. It uh, has been a few weeks since I've uh, imaged last, so um, that was quickly uh, eliminated and we'll up and running. The QHY uh, guide camera is working flawlessly, um, as I would imagine it, it would have worked, and it does. Um, the two instances of Nina um, are talking to each other and dithering and doing um, doing that how that should. So I do feel like I've probably got a little bit uh, to learn in terms of um, Nina software still, but I'm just about ready to start my uh, one of my project panos. Now the Milky Way is starting to rise. Um, it is about one one a.m just gone uh, 1 a.m. and I can always already see the uh, Rio um, area starting to rise around the Antares so that's a little bit of a hint of what my first pano project is going to be and I got a feeling that's really that's going to start probably next month so I want to get in just a couple more um, uh, test shots um, just to make sure the system's all working before I start heading out to those uh, dark skies. Now it has been a little while since I've headed out to dark skies and I have been doing a lot of testing lately. Um, but Nina, the Eagle 4, going from ASIA Pros to this, it's a bit of a, a learning curve and I don't want to be traveling out to a location and then go, oh no, um, I left something behind or I needed to make an adjustment here and there where I've got everything here. I can just tinker if I need to with anything and then um, we're all good. Um, I'm starting to ramble a little bit, aren't I? So uh, on that note, um, I've taken about 95 frames each from each rasa uh, at 30 second exposures, uh, again, 121. Uh, minus 10 with the UVIR um, cut filter. I don't like using other filters. Um, 
so the UVI I cut uh, gives me the best images I like and uh, and I'm happy with that all right guys well I'm gonna call it a night so if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and uh, and leave a comment if you're new to this channel or if this is the first video you've seen of mine please go check out some of my other ones and if you enjoy it subscribe all right guys well until next time take it easy see you Thank you.